The question is how important math is for a blockchain developer. And that's a very valid question. You have to know that what level of understanding you need to have in mathematics so you can be a good blockchain developer when you write the smart contract, when you go to work on the protocol, when you go to build a core functionality on the blockchain. So how important math is and what level of understanding you have to have. So that's the question I have that what level of maths a person has to know. So first, let me make one thing particular that there are two types of developer. One code blockchain development and the other one is full stack blockchain development. You can go to the third category and fourth category, which comes under the full stack blockchain development. So you can become a only smart contract developer or you can become a only blockchain connector means you will work on the blockchain where you're going to deal with the RPC connection and other method. That's the one thing. And the last category we have is uh, security. We're going to focus on the ordering of the smart contract. So these are the couple of criteria, but the criteria I've told you, that's all comes under the full stack blockchain development. So before I go any further, I must tell you that you need basic mathematics if you really want to become a blockchain developer. Because if you look at the contract, what type of contract we utilize right now in the industry? Like if you come to the DeFi section, where you going to deal with the mathematics? If you're building a smart contract, which deals in the data related to the staking or a time lock, if you are working around these kind of models, you have to know a little bit of mathematics that how you can do the calculations, multiplication, division, how you can simply compare the data with the another data and then perform action on terms of that. So in that you need basic mathematics. You don't need to be expert in math if you have a basic understanding of division, multiplications, plus, minus. And if you know that how millisecond and second, these all things work, then you can easily be able to manage it. It's all about the logic. You're going to build logic, then you're going to apply simple maths, not that complicated. On the other hand, if you focus on the core blockchain development, then you need maths because you're going to build the data structure. You want to know that how to manage the data efficiently, how you're going to perform multiple calculations. If you talk about the cryptography, there is a lot of things that are involved in that which you have to follow. But on the other hand, if you want to go to the core blockchain development, there is a lot of requirement. So in that you have to know a little bit higher math. There you have to know about the cryptography, how exactly it work. You have to know algebra. You have to know how number theory works. So there's tons of topics out there which you have to cover, which you're going to use it to manage and do the binary calculation. There's tons of things. So if you focus on the core blockchain development, again, definitely you can, you have to be good in mathematics. But if you are a complete beginner, if you come from non-technical background, like you are in your case, I would, I would suggest you to focus on the full stack blockchain development in that you will have a higher chance of getting job and internship and getting yourself into the industry. Because if you start focusing on the core blockchain development, definitely there is a pace very high. You will get an opportunity, but it will take time. It will take time. And there's a lot of things are involved. So just start with the full stack blockchain development. And after that, if you are comfortable, if you know how the contract execute, what is EVM, the tons of things are there, which you get familiar with that, then you can easily be able to manage that, how the data exactly flows, how cryptography work, those sort of things, you can easily manage it. So again, focus on the full stack blockchain development. It will help you. Then you can take it from there. Your role is to first get yourself into the industry, learn the basic technology, which help you to make that cash flow, which you need. You can't sit and wait for next a year or two years to learn about the entire thing. You have to just get into the industry as quick as you can. So just focus on the full stack blockchain development. Once you master that, build project. After that, you can simply switch to the core blockchain development. Definitely, there is a less market for that, but the pay is very high. Those who are working in the core blockchain, they're getting an insane amount of money, but the requirement is also pretty low as compared to the full stack blockchain development. So there you have to make the decision. Just pick your path, check that how much time you have in your hand, whether you can able to give the concrete time which is required to learn the core blockchain development. If you guys want me to make a tutorial on core blockchain development, that what topics you need to cover in the mathematics, what is the complete roadmap, then definitely I'll let, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to make it so you guys can simply follow that core blockchain development. But as of now, I would suggest you to focus on full stack blockchain development. And anyway, I'm going to bring a roadmap for core blockchain development so you can have a look and you guys can pick and decide that whether you have to focus on core blockchain or you have to focus on full stack. So I hope you guys have got an idea. The, the, the one thing you have to know that you need basic mathematics if you really want to build a smart contract and become a full stack blockchain developer. So that's the thing you have to keep in mind. Very basic. So hope this video helped you a lot. If you have any question, doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to help in that.